Hi, this is Mark Ganser, Technical Account Manager at EAC Product Development Solutions with this week's Tip of the Week. Today we're going to talk a little bit about model accuracy because it's something that keeps coming up and has come up over time with Creo Parametric or Pro Engineer Wildfire, if you're on an older version. What is accuracy? Well, accuracy is really how fine a detail, how small an edge you can have on a model compared to the size of the model. You can dial up accuracy and allow smaller and smaller detail, but it will slow down regeneration, so there's a balance to be maintained there. Relative accuracy, which is one of the two settings you can use, where basically the size of the smallest edge you can have is some multiplier of the size of the model itself, and we'll explain that in just a second. Absolute accuracy is setting an actual numerical value in model units that says the smallest edge I can have is this size. Now relative accuracy is a number multiplied by the longest bounding box diagonal. Well, what does that mean? A bounding box is the smallest box that can fully enclose the model geometry. Keep in mind that that bounding box is going to also enclose any data amenities. So if you have a coordinate system sitting way off the geometry of your model, the bounding box is going to expand to enclose that as well. The longest diagonal is just from the farthest two corners, and it's going to come up with some length. So your relative accuracy would be some number multiplied by that longest diagonal. Whatever the product of that is, is the smallest edge you can get. Absolute accuracy is really a minimum value you set. So if your model is in, say, millimeters, you would enter some size. The smallest edge you could be would maybe be 0.05 millimeters. Anytime you try and go smaller than that, you're going to have a regeneration issue. So let's see what that looks like in Creo Parametric itself. Here we have a model, and you're saying, well, great. How do I find out what the bounding box is, what that diagonal is? If you go to the Investigate pick on the Tools tab and go Model Size, it actually creates that box. And in the corner, you can see it's 146 and change in millimeters. So what is the smallest edge I'm going to get? Well, if you go to your file pull-down, you go to prepare and go to the model properties, that's where you find your accuracy. Now my relative accuracy is 0 .001. So the smallest edge I can get is going to be 0 .0001 times 146 millimeters. So basically, what is that, about 0.14 millimeters. Now I can change that accuracy for the relative setting, or I can actually change it to absolute accuracy as well and say I would want 0 .005 millimeters to be the smallest edge I could get. Now when does this come in and become an issue? Why should I care about this? Well, let's go back to a list we have on the end here. Why should you care? Well, model regeneration. The higher the accuracy, the longer it's going to take to regenerate. The biggest issue where you run into roadblocks, other than a model not regenerating itself, is different assembly operations, merge cutout, where you're actually applying geometry across two models, where you're in the context of an assembly, cutting out from one model based on the geometry of another model. Easiest way to go about that is we have both models being set to the absolute accuracy of the same value. Now, you have long type extrusions with fine cross sections. Typically, if you're making, say, uh, some sort of aluminum extrusions that maybe would be used in the window industry where they have gaskets pop in, where you've got a fine cross section, but maybe they extrude 20 foot sections at a time, that might be an issue for you. Now, relative accuracy is the default setting with the template models from PTC now, but a lot of larger corporations have in their implementations set their start parts to absolute accuracy might be slightly longer in regeneration, but they have a lot less issues in the long run. PTC is also now considering changing the default models they ship with Creo Parametric to absolute accuracy. Now, where am I going to see that type of an issue? Well, here, let's go show you one example of that. Here's a cross-section extrusion shape. And let's bring up the dimensions so you can see about what size we're talking about. Now, not a big deal, but if you start making this thing longer and longer, you'll start running into problems with the small edge created by that chamfer. So let's look into that. 
200 inches now, I can go quite a ways before the default relative accuracy setting that is in Creo parametric default models gives me any issue. So I've gone to 2,000 inches, not a problem. Well, let's roll the dice and see if we can go up to 3,000. Now we get a failure. You can see I've got that little exclamation point and the on the model tree the chamfer has failed. Where that's an issue now where I would have to either resolve and change my accuracy or I would have to make that a smaller length. Now if you've got any questions on the topic of accuracy or any of the other videos you see on our EAC page, go ahead and contact myself or any of us at EAC or even better yet leave a comment in the comments section of the video and we'll get back to you. Thanks and have a great rest of your day.